All right, everybody. Whoo! After the adrenaline high of that previous match and everything people were hoping that it would happen, you know, what would happen. A little bit disappointed, obviously, in the result. Not not that Hoshoru didn't fight well and deserved the win, but uh, yeah, I think a lot of people were rooting for Takeda Fuji to get that 12th win. Now we have this match, which, you know, eh. But it's okay. It's a little bit of a palate cleanser before we have the final match of the day, which now has is, is got added importance because that man there, Ono Sato, can uh, stay one behind Takeda Fuji uh, and, you know, very possibly be involved in a playoff for the Emperor's Cup on Sunday. Uh, but he's got to beat Kota Nawaka and keep winning. Kirishima's 3-8. and eight. Did show up for work today. Some people, including myself, were saying he might not, but he did. So he's going to try to get a few more wins. Midori Fuji, on the other hand, the Maigashira 5, has had some fun uh, wins. He's been using some interesting technique, but he still needs two more. So a win over the Ozeki here would be a big one, but uh, not as impressive as it might be any other Basho if you said, hey, I beat Kirishima this tournament. I don't know if that holds as much weight this tournament because of uh, how poorly he's been wrestling most days. But, uh, you know, kudos to him for sticking it out and showing up. Even though he's got a losing record, he could have easily, you know, cited an injury, whether he really has one or not. Instead, he's got to sit it out because he knows he's Katoban already. Um, is that person holding their towel upside down <laughs> I need another look at it that's kind of funny if they are um, yeah I don't know what do you think would you have shown up for work <laughs> I mean some you know obviously Tamawashi that's his whole reputation right is that he shows up for work every single day since he started that's Iron Man right so Kirishima's maybe like no I'm an Ozeki it's my job to be out there even though I'm losing I'm going to keep trying, and who knows? He could win the next four in a row and finish with a seven and eight. And two years from now, you'll look at that and go, oh, he went seven and eight. That's not so bad. And you won't even know uh, how poorly it went unless you look at the day-by-day -day wins and losses. Uh, okay, and then in the final match of the day, who do you got? You got Kotona Walker or you got Ono Sato? I don't know. I think, think Kotona Walker is going to win that, but we will see in a moment. All the links you need and everything will be down in the description box of that video as it's the final match of the day. All right, this one's ready to go. <laughs> ドヨチュウ。ドヨチュウ。あ、長い相撲になっていきます。この日本勝を大関。3勝8敗で迎える12日目。緑富士が相当に。もう少し期待して。まだ回しは取らせない緑富士。霧島。これで回す。ここ。ここ。ここ。ここ。ここ。ここ
and get his eight wins and erase Kadawan status and be competitive again because this is just not like him. Uh, now at three and nine. And uh, he should have Ozeki opponents now in the next few days each day. So it's not going to get easier uh, for him to get any kind of wins here in the final few days. Midori Fuji, on the other hand, great, great win for him. Not only in confidence, but the fact that he's now 7-5 and five and just needs one more for his Kachikoshi at Maigashiro 5. So, fantastic for him. Congrats. Okay, come on back. Two more to go. No, one more to go.